Uh, method 3 4, it's a tricky subject at the start, but after you apply yourself and do a fair few questions and actually understand the concepts, then it's pretty straightforward after that. Make sure you know like all the basic stuff. I know it sounds like obvious and simple. Make sure you like you literally <laughs> get all that <laughs> stuff right. Yeah, because you know it's gonna hit you in three, four. And yeah, in one and two, if you hit a blank spot, you have to know what you're gonna do straight away, because then that's gonna come back to haunt you in three, four. So make sure you you, you make your knowledge of units one and two really Luel solid. Luel means <laughs> Luel. Um, other than that, the course. It's like a flow. Everything that you learn from the start leads to the next topic, to the next topic, to the next topic. So, as long as you need, you can't afford to misunderstand anything. Yes. So to do method three four, you have to be willing to persist and do a little bit of everything at least for an hour every night. I reckon. Start early. Start early. Don't leave it to the last few months. Do your homework. Do all, all try and do all the questions on the exercise book because the only way you can do well in methods is by um, actually doing all the questions. You can't. It's not something you can just look at and go, oh yeah, I can do this. You need to actually do every question. And there's so many ways to get answers. You can go, you know, from your textbook, checkpoints, teacher, ask a, I don't know, a friend in uni or someone else in year 12. Even the internet, the wiki, yeah. etc. Mm -hmm. YouTube. So to do method 3-4, we reckon yeah. that you definitely need persistence. Motivation. Courage. Courage. <laughs> <laughs>